unconfirmed reports just in that thousands of children have awoken on Christmas morning to discover their stockings empty. So it's about um, Rafe Spall plays a character called Steve who gets out of prison, um, wants to reconnect with his son, he hasn't seen for a couple of years. At the same time, Santa has crashed his sleigh, ended up in his son's shed. His son wants to get Santa out of prison. Santa's been arrested for trying to spring his reindeer from the dog's home. And so you have this double problem where a dad who's trying to go straight and wants to spend the day with his son, all his son wants to do is for his dad to break the law and get his you know, get, get this guy who claims to be Santa out of prison. So as we speak, Steve and his son Tom are rescuing my head reindeer Dasher, who will then lead them to my new magic sleigh. They will then be able to fly in and spring me from prison. Well, my first advice is don't tell anyone about this. Yet not in here. You don't think they'll believe me? I'm positive they won't. I read the script and I thought that's really funny. I'd like love to do it and, it, and it's everything there that is in the uh, in the script is on the screen and more. There's just some scripts you read you can't put down, you know, and this was one of those and I said I, do, I desperately want to do this, it's going to be a laugh. Uh, and indeed it was and, and I think the movie has come out so well. We were shooting it from January to March. The weather was very method and provided us with a lot of freezing cold evenings to shoot in, but no, it was amazing. It's got some, some jokes for kids and some jokes for adults, so it's, it's for all those. It's, it's not just one quality, it's not just a comedy, it's not just a family, but it's also magical. In my opinion, the preserve of childhood is a really important thing. In an age where children grow up very quickly, where children become knowing because of information being so readily available to them. So part of the, the preserve of childhood, in my opinion, is a belief in magic. And what better figurehead of magic and wonder than Father Christmas? Um, and if I can be a part of reminding people of that, then that's a really wonderful thing. You have to let me out of here, or Christmas will be cancelled. Santa's in prison. What? He's crashed his sleigh, lost his reindeer, and if we don't help him, Christmas is off. Well, that's it then, lads. Now, uh, Christmas is coming up. Um, what do you love most about Christmas? What gets you excited about it? Yeah, probably just the feeling, just waking up and seeing like the stockings and stuff. It's just all, it's just all, you know, amazing. Well, you know, I've got kids now. You know, I, I worked out that when you're a kid, Christmas is the best thing ever. When you get into your sort of low twenties, then you and you're up to your like thirty, you start to enjoy the Christmas parties. But when you get kids, you suddenly realise that it's all about the kids again. Food. <laughs> Just food, and then the and then the, the two weeks of guilt. I don't look forward to afterwards. So getting together with the family and and, the, and the eating and drinking and enjoying yourself and playing games and having a laugh. It's the whole thing. The whole country is feeling one thing at the same time. They're experiencing one thing, which is Christmas. That brings people together. Um, you might wish people Merry Christmas in the street, in shops. It's just a lovely thing that you do that includes strangers into your life, which doesn't happen at other times of the year. So that's really special for me. It's the Northern Lights. I never thought it was real. All I wanted today was a chance to be a proper dad. Or a good dad. He's Santa! It really is! I am! I'm not an elf. This isn't so bad. 